Throughout history, different groups of people got to decide how the world is going to work. In the 60s, they were the engineers. In the 90s, they were the coders who leveraged new technology to build a new economy. What about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. As well, new technology know? becomes mainstream, a different type of economy appears on the horizon. And there's one particular group of people who already perfectly understand how this new economy works, and that group of people are the gamers. Welcome to Alux. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. Mary Poppins got it right. When something is fun to do, it doesn't feel like work. That's why you can play video games for 20 hours straight with no problem whatsoever. Too bad work can't be a video game too, right? That would make most jobs way more enjoyable. But over the years, people noticed how engaging gaming is, and they started to implement elements from gaming in their own industries through a process called gamification. Have you noticed banking apps getting fancier lately? More colorful, interesting rewards, points, real-time tracking, some almost feel like finance games. This isn't a design trend, it's gamification happening in the banking system. Gamification is the process of applying game design elements into non-game environments. Every industry on Earth will eventually go through a gamification process. One of the most successful campaigns McDonald's ever did was their Monopoly partnership. You could collect street names from buying their products and match them to win prizes. In fact, it was so successful it sprawled into some kind of insane fraud scandal with employees stealing street names and selling them under the table. But that's another story. One of the most successful language learning apps, Duolingo, gives you experience points every time you practice. But if gamification has been a thing for quite some time now, why is it suddenly becoming really important? Well, a couple of things are happening right now. One, millennials. It's the generation that grew up with modern technology. Video games and social media are part of their daily lives, and they're used to fast access, instant gratification, and high engagement. Two, interconnectivity. There are 7 billion people in the world. 6 billion of them have smartphones. Funny enough, more people have access to technology than to banking. And three, gaming is blowing up. The whole business model of video games is to be enjoyable and rewarding so you keep playing. The gaming industry is bigger than the movie and music industry combined. So why is gaming so important here? The industry excels at one very key thing, something that every other industry is failing at. Gaming excels at engagement. They're designed to keep you going, to stay in the loop, to play one more round, to make one more turn. They're challenging, rewarding, and offer a sense of progress. As you're watching this video, there are countless managers and directors stuck in meetings, scratching their heads, trying to figure out how to boost engagement with their company, with their employees, clients and customers, it won't take long until they realize there's an industry right next to them which completely dominates the engagement game. Now, before talking about the implications of gamification, let's take a look at something really interesting. The Metaverse Economy when Nike launched their running app, it came with gamification's elements like badges, points, and a progression system. Runners could track their progress and earn showcase rewards. All good so far. But what if Nike does something crazy, like tokenizing those rewards? What if, for running a 5K, let's say you get five Nike coins, which you can later use for discounts in their store, or even to buy full products. Or maybe you could buy NFTs, like the new virtual Jordan 1s with those coins. Or how about this? You could sell those points on the market for real money. This is how the new economy takes shape. Imagine runners farming coins the same way there are gold farmers in the world of Warcraft. This is basically how the metaverse works. The real world and the virtual world come together. Gamification and blockchain makes engagement monetizable for everyone. This new reality is not that far in the future. We'd say we're about five to 10 years away from stuff like this being very common in pretty much every field. Gamification in education. 
Imagine a new business school is created, where in order to graduate, you need to play a game. Let's say this school has its own marketplace that simulates the rules of the real world, and it also has its own currency. Your job is to create a virtual company, engage with other students, create virtual goods and services, and be active in the game's marketplace using the in-game currency. If your company becomes profitable, you graduate. How does that compare to sitting through countless classes with a boring professor reciting books from the 90s? Gamification is already being used in education. Take, for example, the Duolingo app we mentioned earlier. Gamification in finance. If there's anything people don't trust, it's banks. They're predatory in nature and structurally outdated. Banks really struggle to get people to use their products, but one thing that proved to work is gamification. Most of them started to use a pretty basic model with points, leaderboards, and badges, but they saw great results. Gamification outperformed any other system they tried to do. And since banks are also under threat from decentralized finance, they'll probably be among the first industries to double down on gamification to catch up. Okay, so all of this seems fun and interesting, but how do gamers fit into the story? They are native to this space and have the advantage of great timing. The generation who grew up playing video games is now reaching maturity. They understand what makes something enjoyable and rewarding, what progression system works, what doesn't, and what playing the meta means, and so on. If you look into the gaming industry, it's not the developers who say what game is good or not, it's the community that provides feedback. It's the one saying, hey, this sucks, it doesn't work, change it. They have the best understanding of this space because they've been active in it since they were young. And right now, they're in the best position to translate this knowledge into real-world value. The demand for gaming experience will skyrocket in the following years. Those who understand how to apply gamifications to different industries will shape the new economy. And the thing is, we're super early in this space. Here's a quick question. Should a business use social media to grow? Well, duh, of course, everything happens online. But you see, while the answer is obvious now, it wasn't so obvious 10 years ago. We believe the next question will be, do you use gamification to grow? And it'll be obvious then, while being not so clear right now. But one thing is clear. Some of the richest people in the world are the ones who can make you click on things, the ones who grab your attention and keep you engaged. When gamification gets mainstream adoption and everything you interact with will have some sort of gamification element to it, those who are native to this space will dictate how the world works. We don't know what gamification will look like 10 years from now, but those who've been playing video games for 20 plus years will be in the best position to figure it out and make new products. We hope you learned something today, Aluxers. As you might have noticed, these new Saturday videos are a bit different. We bundled them up into a playlist, which you can watch by clicking in the top right corner. We might call this series the Saturday Educational Video. So let us know in the comments what topic you'd like to see next. And as a thank you for watching until the end, of course, you're getting a bonus. There's a one company who's taking the gamification process to the next level. Reddit is planning to convert their Karma points into tokens on the blockchain. Karma, if you don't know, is Reddit's own scoring system. They're points given to users by other users based on their content contributions. It's actually one of the ways Reddit got so huge. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this new crypto karma will look pretty soon. Thanks for watching, Aluxer. Gamers are super empowered, hopeful, individuals. These are people who believe that they are individually capable of changing the world. And the only problem is they believe that they are capable of changing virtual worlds and not the real world.